What's going on, guys? Welcome back to right now. We are going to uh, do another uh, a little, a little. Un is Kerwitz still with us? Oh yeah, good. We got some more Japanese candy. I'm still going through this. I think we got this package like um, two months ago, probably now, and we're still going through this Japanese candy. This looks like holiday Kit Kats. Like I would assume it's. It looks like peppermint bark, but then it's got like cranberries. Uh, and almonds on the package as well. So it's like cranberry almond Kit Kat, and I have no idea if it's actually peppermint bark. So I don't know how to open it. You doing okay? You grooming yourself like yeah. a little cat? Yeah. Like here, a I got cat. one for you, and they're all individually wrapped. Apparently, you got these tiny little guys here. It's definitely got a it's got something. The bag definitely has a strong smell in it. It's got like a strawberry smell. But it's probably just... Alright, let's see how this... Oh, look at this thing. It's clearly white chocolate as well. In case you guys didn't know from the, the packaging. Ooh. It smells like cheesecake. It does It does smell like cheesecake, you're right. It's yogurt and double berry. There you go. How was it? It's good. Oh, yeah, you can definitely... Oh, that's yogurt, alright. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's good though. Hmm. 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 It definitely has the tang yogurtness. You can definitely taste that. That was good. It's a little tangy. I'll tell you, your deck was very good. I don't think you have any right to be crushed, so please redo. Alright. Next, we have some. Crunky Crunch Chocolate. These are very... The package is much more yellow than it's than you're led to believe here. It looks almost lemony. Like, doesn't it look lemony from this yellowness? It does, yeah. I don't know if I can... It looks more yellow. Once I put it up close, like, the darkness overtakes it and... you don't Once get I put it up close, the darkness <laughs> overtakes it. But you can't really... Oh, these are like... Oh, these are interesting. They're actually... This is not what I was expecting at all. They look like Mentos. Interesting. Definitely not lemon. I have no idea what that flavor is, actually. Hold on. It's just white chocolate. It is just white chocolate, I think. They individually wrap everything because they assume it's you're not going to eat the whole bag at once. Smart assumption. Wasteful, but smart. I like that. Yeah, this doesn't... This just tastes like crunchy white chocolate. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. And one more thing before we get started. One more Kit Kat with a little cutie bear on there. <laughs> he's he's very bashful and it looks like he did something wrong. I don't know what though. Uh, I imagine it's putting red bean in the Kit Kat. That's my guess. That looks like red bean to me. I have never understood red bean as a like dessert it's product. Probably red bean and cheese flavored. But red, there's definitely red bean desserts that are... Oh, he's significantly less shy and happier on the package. He's having a good time there. He's much happier. He goes he goes from bashful and nervous to just just absolutely thrilled. He's having that a good time. That bear's name is Kumonamon. <laughs> good to know. He's a cutie for sure. Oh, these are just traditional Kit Kats as well. It's interesting because they don't look like traditional Kit Kats on the package, but when you open them, they have they they become traditional Kit Kats. Like on the package, you have this like kind of like like circular almost like moon pie looking thing and then here it's just a regular Kit Kat just a twofer no red bean in there though Com yeah but you can definitely taste it completely white that is an interesting flavor it's I definitely beany it's weird interesting I don't know what to make of this. Sorry for you guys who are getting triggered by this. First five minutes of this draft is just eating candies. That's on so weird. It's a weird flavor. I don't know what to make of it. So like my mind's like, oh, we're having candy, but then I have that strong bean flavor, <laughs> like that smoky, smokiness. Yeah, bean I don't. Flavor. I can't even like. Yeah, it's weird. I don't think I like that. 
Interesting. Hey, man. Yeah, man. Let me get another hit of that double berry. A hit of the double berry? Mm hmm. There you go, Chief. I gotta get that bean out of there. I gotta get my gotta get that bean taste out of my mouth. Oh, a charnel troll right up. In, okay, well, let's. Okay. What's the pick here, man? Charnel troll hub. Are you planning on doing a Halloween theme stream? Maybe. Maybe. You can play a spoopy game. Oh, we have done spoopy games in the past. That's true. We still have to play Doki Doki uh, Literature, Literature Club. Club. What'd you say? Literature Club. Yeah. Apparently that game is real emotionally scarring. Draft only skeletons. <laughs> well, we just didn't get any, car any creatures this this draft because there's no skeletons. I think Charles Charles is stronger than, than Crackling Drake. I also like Night Vale's Sprite and Artful Takedown. I'm a big Golgari fan. I feel like Golgari is really underdrafted. That would definitely compel me to take this this Charnel Troll. Okali Dokali Literature Club? Yeah, it's a Ned Flanders Literature Club. Ah. <laughs> you got him with that one. Oh, boy. I'm going to take the Troll. I feel oh, we like... forgot to listen to Okali Dokali. Oh, we didn't forget. <laughs> this pack is great, but I want this Murmuring Mystic. However, Deadweight, Deadly Visit... Yeah, this is... This was... is this? What? I'm kind of schmear on my... You got a schmear? Yeah, a schmear on your on mug the, on the cup. A, a mug schmear? Yeah. I think visit is better than wait, but murmuring mystic might be better than all. In our arena sealed yesterday, we went murmuring mystic and then we went quasi duplicate, and then we quasi duplicated again and made two birds, and then we had three three of these, and every spell we cast made three birds. So we went sonic sonic assault. And made three birds, and then we jump-started it and made three birds. Our opponent conceded. Huh. What do we take here, man? I don't know what to do. Yeah, get the bean out of your, out of your mouth first. I think Deadly Visit. <clears throat> I think so, too. I don't want to go three colors yet. Apologies for going off topic, but other plants. That's You don't have to apologize for that. That's just conversation. I'm taking this. This card's so good. Um, oh, direct current. Maybe we're just maybe we're just doing this and we, we're just going to regret not taking that crackling drake. Cuz if we took the Golgari card, there's really nothing great in here. Like Iron Shell Beetle is not even close to direct current. Uh are there plans to do another video game playthrough a la RE7? I think there's always plans to do that. I just sometimes it just doesn't happen. I always want to. There's a ton I want to do. I just wonder if it's worth like the time. Like we still finished GTA. I don't GTA you're right and I want to do that but it actually strikes me as a game that you don't just finish it feels too open ended but I know there is a storyline to finish yeah we could just finish the main storyline all the all the oh a watcher yeah that's a third pick watcher or fourth hits, pick watcher that's pretty good all the heists the hits and the heists hits and heists and hits and heists spaghetti 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 alright um I think this guy's probably better than this guy we can probably get these Real late. I don't know what was happening right there. Mystic is a bomb uncommon, hence why it is in our pack. I, I like the Golgari. I like the Is it cards that are coming through right now. Come through. Is it lit? As the kids say. No kids say that. Hmm. Are you trying to imply I'm out of touch? Yes. Fair. Hello, fellow kids. How do you do, fellow kids? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. That's a solid meme. It's a classic. I'm a fan. Jokes and jokes and jokes and jokes. I'm pretty sure it's just is it locket here. Just giving yourself a little spritz. Yeah, my hands feel sticky with candy, so I sprayed them with a little water so now that I can more easily remove the debris. With my napkin, with my <sighs> Frank's out of touch, Mike's out of time, but I'm out of my, <laughs> but I'm out of my head when the not around. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. is that Hollow Notes? Man, the off-brand creamer definitely tastes different. 
What what's your off-brand creamer? It's just like the great value one? Yeah. Great value French vanilla. Great value French vanilla. I'm just gonna take the guild gate, I guess. Because then if we get enough Golgari guild gates, we can just splash this guy. It's not as sweet. No. But you're not around. None of these cards are any good. I don't care about Gravitic Punch. Why not? Because it's not good. Get him. Bow. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it on bow, my two too. Bow, bow, bow. Your mom's great value, French Vanilla. God, it's so wrecked. A word of advice, don't go around saying that? Wait, what? What did I say? Who knows, man? Just pick your Did I say something card. bad? I'm going to take Rubble Belt Boar. Mr. Rubby. Mr. Rubby. <laughs> Any advice on how I can open more Murmuring yeah, Mystics? Playable. Don't be putting that over there, man. Yeah, you're right, actually. In the Izzet deck, it actually is pretty decent. I'm going to take this because this is a Commander uh, Commander All-Star. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, but that's the meme. Oh, last pick, Mausoleum Secrets? God, the rich get richer. The scientific term is get good. That's actually a good point. Fallyman brings up a, a good point where uh, the best advice is to just get better. Imagine punches a 11-11 flyer that deals 1 to the OP when it enters the battle. 11 11 one, 1 flyer that deals 1 to the OP when it enters the battlefield with Mystic on the battlefield, that is. Yeah, that's not good enough. Sorry, it was a while back as when you said, hello, fellow kids. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. How do you do, fellow kids? I want to take this League Guild Mage. It's the best card in this pack. How do you feel about that, Michael? It's fine. How did you finish that water already, man? You have a... <gasps> also another direct current. Yeah, this card's too good to pass. Too bad we'll never draw it. We'll, we'll never draw it. Mm-hmm. Mr. Rubby is a great nickname. <laughs> oh boy, we're having a good time here. Oh, a Tajik? Tajik? If I'm going to splash something, I'm probably going to splash this Conclave Tribunal. Because I'm not going to play Wall of Mist, Boar, or is it? I think it's probably just worth this. Yeah, this card's good. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I wish I could play Hall and Oats without getting demonetized. I think the Is It Killed Mage. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. Now that was it. <laughs> like, was it was it too excited? Was it ex just excited enough? Oh, we can have three Electromancers or a Beam Splitter Mage and two Electromancers. What do you think? Hmm. I still remember the old Rubby Stilt skin. I don't know if that was the thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I Steven like C. Better. Almost a full year with Internet McGee and the best mic around. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. What did you say to me? I like the Reducey guy better. Oh, that's cool. Get wrecked. Oh, a Sonic Assault? Look at that, another Beam Slim Range. We got it too. Here's the thing about this guy. If you draft things like Maximize Velocity, or Maximize Altitude, or Sure Strike, you just get two copies of it. Right. That's good. Oh, wow, that's a late direct current. What is that? Hold on. 16 plus 5, 21. This is 22nd pick. 7th pick direct current? That's not Okay. <laughs> Oh, look. Just get another one anyway. And an eighth pick Luminous Bonds? Hey, stop looking at my hand. Look, keep looking at his hand. Keep looking it. You can't just look people's hands. Yes, you can. Look anybody's hand you want. Don't let him stop you. I think it's just Luminous Bonds, and we're just hoping to splash these two very good removal spells. Oh, there we go. Nailed it. Old Rubby and Licky. What's going on right now? Dang. The other one didn't come back. I like having a Cosmotronic Wave, which is a weird name for a card. This is what Mike does in the bathroom every morning. He does his Cosmotronic Wave. Hmm. 
Think about it. <laughs> oh, your face was amazing. I didn't even see your face there. <laughs> God, really? Why? I didn't know you did that. That's amazing that you would do that while I was also doing it. Why would you do that? I don't even remember doing that, to be honest. That was like literally t five minutes ago, dude. I forgot I did the... Oh... Bustin' 2. <laughs> Please ensure you have typed the command correctly. Example, add command, IP, the IP... Wow, that's weird. What? What? I said, what? That just should not still be in the pack with three... Co wow, and a sure strike. All right, I'm taking both these fire urchins out because they're hot trash compared to Triple Electromancer. Yikes. Yikes. niv it. Ral Zarek, actually, and then someone passes us a niv it. How about that? Is that greedy? Okay, Pell Collector. That's not as... Oh my god, the best one drop ever! Oh. <laughs> that was my overreaction meme to everybody on that card. Wow! wow. I'm just gonna take the five minutes. <laughs> Frank, I did my first scheduled Twitch stream, then I had actual viewers in chat, and you've been a super positive inspiration for going and doing it and having a... Cyberdrack, that's awesome to hear, man. Congrats. Great work. Great work. Are you in the Discord? Because feel free, if you're in the Discord, feel free to post it in the Discord. And uh, then maybe other other of my, my, my people, we can all watch it as well next time. Okay, Experimental Frenzy, not bad. Another Direct Current again, number three. That seems good. <clears throat> you're a weird guy, Ace. Weird guy. <laughs> Was that an Ace Ventura quote? <laughs> yes. Wow. Mike, Mike is wearing the same shirt today as in the snake face gif. Wow. This is my favorite shirt. Is this card good and limited? No. You really don't think so? No. Why? Because it's just like... It's only a really good... I guess it's a really good top deck, but like, it's really bad in your opener. We could try it. It's probably just Piston Fist here. I don't think we need to play these. They're very good, but I do worry that we're going to get... I don't want to God, a th run the white mana. What? I want to splash white, man. A third tribunal, a second tribunal, though, and we got a Luminous Bond? These are, these are good removal spells, man. And we get a swath cutter here. We're not going to play any. Actually, radical ideas might be good here. Whatever. I'll take the radical ideas. Radical! Eh, I like having a Deverus cover up. A what? Deverus cover up. Oh, you know what's funny? If you have, like. The problem is if you got, like, this, this on the top of your library. And then if, like, say you don't have, like, the... Like, what if you have, like, blue, red, red, red? And then you can never cast this because it just sits there. And if your opponent never plays... I guess you could destroy this if you have to, but... That doesn't seem... Look how, look how late these cards are. I'm just so... I'm so mad right now. Take a Wisconsin Crab. Wisconsin Crab. Where do you think the crabs in Wisconsin come from? The bay. Which bay? The Green Bay. Huh. Maybe he's right. Maybe they come from the Green Bay. Make me feel some kind of bay. Let's Google Wisconsin Crab. That didn't work out so well. I want to add MTG to that. Wait, MTG? No, I really want to see where they come from. Oh. Maybe there are crabs and maybe Wisconsin has some crabs. I don't know, man. You didn't see that meme? No, that's a meme? Yeah, look look up Wisconsin Crab MTG. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. 
I got images. <laughs> Wait. Where's the meme at? Someone did it. They put a little thing on them. Oh, I don't see it, but... You can go to that other post. I think he's making shit up right now, guys. I am not. Go to that he's... Reddit post, man. <clears throat> wow, this is a late beam splitter mage. <clears throat> it was actually probably 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 bodyguard there because it makes all of our two twos into three threes. There you go, right there. Boom. This, yeah. Okay, that's actually pretty funny. Wisconsin crab. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this deck, but I think we got a lot of two drops here. Good, 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 good. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, we are not trying to splash. And I like the Isset Lockup because it ramps us to this bad boy. This is Magic Online. This is not Arena. Uh, how many cards do we have that target only Sure Strike and Maximize Velocity? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's still fine. Is one fire urchin better? Maybe. I agree, this deck could definitely use a maximize altitude. Man, if our first pick, if we did take the um You wanna play Guildgate? Uh only because of this, but I don't know, maybe not. Like, I don't know. Nine seven, I'm gonna eight eight it. If we had Crackling Drake over Charnel Troll, it'd be so good. You don't like this deck? This deck seems great. Double double direct current, double piston fist. Watcher in the mist, murmuring mystic, expansion explosion. This deck seems good. I have yet to find this Wisconsin crab thing, and I'm just starting to think you and Frank are just pranking chat, and I don't know what to think about life right now. Do we have to link them? We could. Show us the crab. Mustin makes me. Could you expansion another counter? Countering the counter? I think so, yes. I believe you can. Alright, hold on. Here you go. Wish coin crab. Y'all yeah, keep this hand. Destroy the child. Destroy the child. Man, I actually haven't heard from Alex Jones since he was banned. Yeah, that's since interesting. He was, banned. he was banned from like everything. I want to ban from Earth. Is that a thing we do yet? He basically was. Ooh, double direct current. Look, both me and my opponent played Guild Mages on turn two. Knock, knock. Who's there? Is Mr. <laughs> Rubby there? What's... <clears throat> oh, I see. Well, that's unfortunate that you would do that to me. I thought we were friends. Crab who? Why is not direct current an instant? I guess it would be too good. <laughs> you 
<laughs> crab when? I'll do you one better. Crab how? My name is Michael and I live in a trash can. It's a very nice trash can. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I don't believe you. I think your trash can is garbage. I think you're garbage. <laughs> Got him. Did you? Uh, it's hard to say, man. It's real, it's real hit or miss sometimes. I wish there was more water in my cup. Yeah, well, maybe if you didn't inhale your beverages, you'd be fine. When do you want to... What are we? What's our dinner plan, man? I don't know, man. Why don't you know? At Sunny's, they're going to make you feel good, okay? I do not feel like Sunny's, man. That's like... That's too much food. But I thought you wanted tacos. I did. That's a lot of food. That's a f amount of food that I can... I can choose how much I eat. The same thing at Sunny's? Yeah, but Sunny's, I don't pay 20 bucks. Or at every other place, I don't pay 20 bucks. I wish there's just land here. I can go one, two, three, play this. If I played this guy last turn, I could just cause a Botronic Wave here actually and get in there for three. This might be better. This is probably better. It kills the bat. <clears throat> Mike suggests Sunny's nearly every time you ask him for dinner. He loves it. <laughs> Only because we haven't been in so long. He loves it because we haven't been in so long. Little Mikeums loves his Sunny. <laughs> Just get, I actually would get White Castle because they have Impossible Burgers now, which is gas. Sunny's is so heavy. That's what it is. Oh my God, you're correct. How about Taco Bus? I was fine with Taco Bus. Let's do it then. Well, I wanted you to resuggest it so that I knew you really wanted it. You see? <laughs> okay. Actually, Whatever, maybe I should. Man, that's nah, too late now. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like, every time I leave Sunny's, I'm like, I have to be, like, wheelbarreled out of there. <laughs> and no one no one wants that. <clears throat> do they have a flash surveil card, do you think? No. All right, I'm going to trust you. I feel bad about it, but I'm going to do it. They do. They totally do. Oh, I paid. I overpaid. But it's okay, because I had another thing to do. I had another thing to do. Do, 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 do. Also, the problem with White Castle is that I live in... A state where it doesn't exist. Yeah, there's no White Castles here. How do you feel about mission briefing under an Isochron Scepter? Not great. Because you're still paying two every turn, and then you also have to pay the cost of the spell. Like, whatever you're Isochron Sceptering, I'd probably rather just get that back. Or put that under the thing, right? Like... If you have to say they have real fried eggs on them, like, I I don't know, I feel like you're actually, uh, you're really saying something about the quality of the food, because you shouldn't have to clarify that they are real fried eggs. As opposed to fake fried eggs. Right. So what can Lazav be? A guild mage, a whisper agent, a bats, a barrier of bones? <sighs> Excuse me. Also, with the trigger on the stack, I might have actually copied this Thoughtbound Phantasm for one mana. Because then when you surveilled, it would get a counter and it would be a 3-3 and the Lazav would just stay up with a, with a counter But on. eggs from what animal? Your mom. White Castle chicken rings? Chicken rings? What is a chicken ring? What is a chicken ring? That's my impression of Mike. Let me see that chicken ring. Mm, 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 mm. I don't want to attack here because you just make this guy big. Yeah, I guess it's whatever. Human eggs are so expensive. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's true. It's what chickens wear to feel fancy. Yeah, I'm not. Was that a switch knife? Uh, no, it's a, it's, I mean, it's a knife, but it's not like a, it's just a regular, like, folding knife. It's made by ben, a company called Benchmade, who makes very nice knives. Do they make other things, like benches? No, the knife is Benchmade. 
I assume it's made on a bench. Run, Mike. <laughs> Jesus. Did you just make a Tootsie Roll? Let me... What else? Yeah, I did. I did. I don't know why, but I did it. It happened. That's life. One, two, three, four. One, two... So we can actually play this guy and play this. It might just be able to play this guy and then maximize his velocity, you see. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, Michael. No. Oh, wow, that was aggressive. I'm just gonna pass here. How insightful. D11 Lord, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Actually, are you guys? Are you hearing it? I don't hear. I didn't hear that. Oh, good times. It's totally Christmas. Cr Christmas? It's Christmas. Christmas for everybody. I'm going to talk about this for the rest of this thing. Wait, is there a D Elven Lord and a D underscore Elven underscore Lord? What's going on? How are there, how are there multiple D Elven Lords in here? I don't understand what's happening. My confusion is... It's pretty high. My confusion is pretty high. This is what you want to. This is who you want to be. Yes. <laughs> Good lord, man. I'm the same person. Uh oh, you know, Sonic. What are you doing? Oh, that's really sad. Well, now you can't do a uh, do a little thing. Yeah, but how come the name is different? I'm really confused right now. And also, there's no sub next to your name, so I'm really like... I'm having a real moment here. You okay? You rocking the mic stand? What are you doing right now? I'm just holding the mic. Don't worry about it. You're holding yourself? Not that mic. You talking third person? I'm holding the are me. you talking in third person? What? Uh, what? Uh, sure, sure. I under. I booped you. I'll boop you again. I'll, you'll never boop anyone. Just know that it's still me. Alright, I'm going to trust you. This is... I'm confused, but I'm going to trust you. They're at 12. We have two direct currents in the graveyard, so they're basically at 8. I don't know how they win this game. Just kidding. I don't know how we win this game. <clears throat> graveyard. Do it again. Draw another card into the graveyard. How would we beat a 4 or 5, man? What'd you say to me? How would we beat a 4 or 5? Uh, we attack with this guy, and then if they block, we direct current it. And if they don't block, then they take 3, and they're basically dead. I'm not so sure. They're dead. That's fine. I'll just kill this guy. Goodbye. One, two. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have eight mana with this. Oh, and actually with two two Electromancers, uh, Explosion would be very, very good here. <clears throat> or would it be Expansion? I think it's... Did you just literally fall asleep? Yeah. Are you narcolep narcoleptic? <laughs> hmm. Did you just turn to a bee? <laughs> That's actually pretty good. How much damage can we deal here? We only have one sure strike. We can maximize some velocity, though. Red mana is definitely our... our handicap here. So we can pump this guy. Sure strike of this. Yeah, I think this is actually okay. Oh, I think we messed up actually. Oh, uh, we don't have enough red. 
the elven lord see i told you how did you do that yeah because you're in the chat twice now you are up here as a sub and you're down here as delvin lord what is even happening um this is three we can also deal six now we're just gonna deal target this guy if this is a beam splitter mage it'd be great because we can target this and this and kill them both but they probably wouldn't block it if it was a beam slur mage. Yeah, if we had one more red, we can actually direct current here. Oh my god, you're talking is both. This is this is this something is happening here. Ugh, I really wish I had a direct current mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can actually explode. We can deal six with expansion and draw six. Mike is narcomebic. <laughs> Attacking here seems interesting. Are you going to discard your three? About their three lands. Ready? He didn't. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Okay. All right. Well, that's a thing. Have yourself a oh, Michael Little Christmas. May your mic be wild. Is that what they say? I don't know, man. I don't know. <clears throat> you went up to a couple octaves there. You did? You did. You did? You did. You did? You did. This has to be the weirdest magic stream on Twitch, right? Nah. What'd they do? Chemistry's Insight? Yeah, sure, that's pretty good. Barbarian of Mars, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Oh, look, Frank's playing magic again with another for profit stream. Bourgeoisie in full effect over here. Oh, they may look at additional card, two cards each surveil. They only have 12 cards. How many cards are they looking at with this thing? What was that noise you just made? Just making a song. How was it? It was good. You know, maybe. It was good, you know, maybe. I also forget it's a magic stream sometimes. How's your life in the in the rat debt? How's your rat debt going? Stop talking about my rat debt. <laughs> I don't it's very shameful, okay? Well, maybe you should have made some better decisions with your rap money. Well, it's too late now. Is okay? it? It already happened. You can't take it back. Oh, I kind of want to play that, but I also want to direct current. Can you do both? N no, because that's not how Jumpstart works. Oh, yeah. You have to discard a thing. Oh, I just thought you got to play it from the graveyard for free. Wow, that's flashback. That's a different mechanic that also exists. Yeah, it probably costs more for flashback. It probably costs more for flashback. I like flashback better. I like flashback better. This is just how you sound. You're unbelievable. You know what's unbelievable? What? Your mother. Why is that unbelievable? Because I don't believe her. Oh. That's cool, I guess. One time off the top. That's good. That's a good boy. If Chad could see our screens right now, mind blown. What does that mean? Our screens? Our screens? I knew it. I knew you were two people. Two people confirmed. Two people confirmed. Oh my god, did you just top deck something? Wow, you top decked your own expansion explosion. Where did their graveyard go? What just happened? Oh, they sacrificed that thing to shuffle their library? Wow, that's amazing that they did that there. Yeah, that was that's pretty good. That's pretty insane. I was hoping you were gonna deck yourself. I have an expansion explosion too. Can I get one? No, I guess not. Mm, even better, a mountain. So I guess we have two turns to win. So they go to... No, we get one draw step. Well, I guess we can block. If we really need to. Oh, wow. Attacking with the 1-4, huh? 
All right, man. I'll block it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine, ten mana, so we can deal six. It is lethal. Arbitrary, gain five life. One time, off the top, I got a one in 13 chance. Oh, come on. Okay, still got this. One more. Do it again. It, it's not going to be lethal, though. Now it only deals four. Yep, that doesn't didn't do draw it. Anyway. Oh, my God. Yeah, see, the problem with drafting that card is you never see it. Uh, our opponent sees it, in their and when they're splashing it... <laughs> Anytime now. Okay, literal third card in the deck. Wow, that's amazing. Absolutely just incredible. I'm going to take the Fire Rich and I think Beam Slow Mage is just better. Beam Slow uh, Mage. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Devious Cover Up actually seems good here. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, yeah. What's wrong with you? Oh, yeah. Oh, you just said it again. That makes. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. This is in hand, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Woo! Oh. I think I just let the demon out. I just let the demon out. Something happened. One third from the bottom, Buck. <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Oh, that was a good draw. Did you like my draw? It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Who let the mic out? Who? 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 Who let the mic out? Who? 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 Oh, they can't whisper whisper agent us now. Next turn we can just start drawing cards. That feels good. Drawing makes me feel good. Does it? Yes. So what's the plan? Taco bus? Yeah. But now you don't want it. Huh. Uh, all right. I guess we're not going to be drawing those cards after all. That's sad. Don't forget your Halloween costume, man. <laughs> Why did I get... Oh, God, I got this from... Because I'm on that stupid Hasbro thing. Oh. My little pony. So, Frickle remember that time... Pony. Remember that time I went to... Uh, I went to tr try to get the Mythic box? And I had to make a Hasbro account? I now have a Pumpkins and Ponies Oh My My Little Pony like costume email for like little kids. These costumes deserve an extra candy bar or two. And I'm just like, no, dude. I don't need this in my inbox. Frank is born burned. Comburned? Yeah. <laughs> Frank, I already sent you some tacos? I would love... Yeah, go for it. Wait, no. Because I know you actually will. Never mind. I thought it was a joke and then I realized it was truth. You can't send tacos. That's crazy. You don't know how Grubhub works? He sent us milkshakes. He did? Oh, yeah, you weren't here for that. Yeah, he sent me and Rob milkshakes. He did? Oh. Yeah, you don't know how delivering things works? So close. <laughs> oh, God. Comburned is when you combine different burns into one mega burn. <laughs> oh, I, I could have actually copied that, but I think it's probably better in the long term to... Yeah, fifth land would have been great because then we can play either of these guys, but apparently you just can't beat Muffin Top. I thought you liked Muffin Bottoms. 
I do like the muffin bottom. I think the muffin bottom is a softer, muffiny experience. <laughs> yeah, but I like the crispiness of the top. I don't care. Who cares about crispiness, man? I do. I'm a crispy boy. Are you? Are- if he sends tacos, you'll probably just end up with a pound of ground beef. Maybe. That's probably true, because that is the way these deliveries work. You are right. Who even sells tacos, man? Okay. Who even sells tacos? Yeah. What are you some kind of what are you some kind of idiot? Maybe. Yeah, for some reason this hand is actually not working out at all. Guildgate off the top. Nope. Just a all right, well. Missed, it was a good game. Missed two land drops. And we got three five relevant five mana spells in hand and <sighs> Yep, seems good. Ooh, let the mics out. Who? 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 See, it's going to be sad if they have Whisper Agent in hand still, and then they just flash it in, and I can't actually... Like, I'm going to go to kill this guy, and then they're going to get such value. Okay, it doesn't matter, because we can't actually cast our spells this game. Well, it's okay, guys. It's uh, Oh, we actually can't play that and Sonic Assault, because we just don't have the mana to do so. So... <sighs> I'm dead on the inside and the outside, like a crispy... Dead on the inside, dead on the outside. Dead green paint job. Dead green. And they, if they didn't have five cards in hand, it'd be one thing, but... Three mana to play a land seems expensive. I agree with you. It's not a good rate. Hey, Mike. I am building an Abzan commander deck. What are your thoughts on Anafenza the Foremost? Uh, not playing blue, so... I don't even know how your deck functions. <laughs> I don't know any of your basic components or strategies. Brian, what's going on, buddy? What are you doing? I'm playing Magic Online and streaming. <laughs> it seems I feel like that's obvious, right? I'm I'm really keeping it all out here for you. I don't really I'm not hiding anything. You want to get cut? I'll cut you. Cause blue sucks. Yeah, right. All right, well, this card is now officially out of range of my removal spell, my most efficient card. So, that's cool. I forget what Anna Fenza does. Doesn't it give counters to things? Brian, I did finally get the I did finally get the boxes. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I have to figure out what we're going to do with them, though. Let me know what you want me to do with them. Uh, are you sure it's a mana base? Are you sure it's just... Are you, you sure it's a mana base? Are you sure it's just nothing? What does that mean? I think we're dead. I don't feel great about that. Oh, hey, we did it. Turn eight, fifth hey. land. Fantastic. Good games. I feel like that game was decided by skill. And, uh, you know, the best player truly won. And uh, not to sound like Phil Hellmuth, where, you know, if, it, if there, was, there was no luck involved in them all, definitely not that, that. But I, I would like to just be able to play the cards in my hand in a, in a game of uh, cards. So... Was it the first shipment? I have no idea. I don't know how I would know that. I guess I, I could have checked the uh, the box and compared tracking numbers, but I, I I assume it was the second because that one said it was going to be delivered on Monday, and that's when I got these yesterday. So I have to assume that it's the second shipment. All right. Well, let's keep going. Well, who let the dogs out? This hand is actually okay. Who let Mike's mom out? Who? Who who? She was trapped last time I last time I checked. I was hoping for a mountain. Didn't get there. What match is this? This is match three. No, this is match two. Why? I just was confused. <laughs> it's cause you keep blacking out, man. I told you to go to the doctor about that. Go to the dog tar. It'll save you. The dog tar will save you? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. We're going to attack for one. 
Is that some Mike ASMR there? Yeah. Some Mike Asmer, as as they say. Another one, one for one. Hmm. Let's do a little cyclarino. Oh, here we go. You ready? Cool. Super cool. Who's having a good time? Awesome. Great. I'd send you some from San Francisco to try, but the things we're famous for don't really ship well. Hard to send burritos and secret breakfast ice cream. That's true. Secret breakfast ice cream? I don't even know what, what that is. Also, we have burritos here. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I guess I'll just play this. Ooh, Billy Biscuits. The name's Billy. Billy Biscuits. <laughs> Yeah, we're having a good time. Mike has asthma. Sorry to hear that. Do you have asthma? No. What are you doing? You're so weird, man. What? <laughs> Is this bothering you? A little bit. Why? He's like rubbing his hand on the base of the mic, but just like, just like he's kind of like petting it. It's got a nice grit to it. <laughs> it's got a nice grit to it. You know, like you do. Secret breakfast ice cream is oh, bourbon and cornflakes ice cream, and it's delicious. That sounds crazy. Time. This card is so good against their entire deck, but unfortunately, we don't get to have... We can't cast this because it's five. Can't cast this because it's two red. I guess we can just play Electromancer and hope for for the best Been in the future. Into Clearwater, and there's no such thing as tacos on the Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah, right, man. That's not... really good taco what? places That's here. Yeah, there's that's, that's completely inaccurate. When did you come out here, 1985? Yeah, like, I don't even know what you're talking about right now. I have great tacos every week, and I'm not talking about, like, Chipotle. I'm talking about actual, like, I have great tacos like Mexican every, restaurants. Every night. No, you don't. Yeah, man, those tacos are good. Oh, wait, do we have Cosmotronic Wave? Not in our hand. That would be such gas. That puts us way back in this game. Okay, well, this is just... You're in 96? Yeah, you probably went to Taco Bell or something, man. That's not what we're talking about. <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> Get this idiot out of here. Electronic. Michael's mom. I'll send you some stuff Chicago is known for, but I'm not sure how to package corruption and violent crimes. Yikes. Wow. I feel like the people of Chicago have no uh, no issues packaging that. <laughs> Was that good? I don't know. Was that Chicagoist? I also don't know. Probably. Mr. What are you doing? You're so weird, man. What, man? I'm working out. He's he's doing this. This is all he's doing, and he's like, "I'm working out." <laughs> I can't. I ate Taco Bell three times in the same day once. I wouldn't suggest it. Yeah, I don't know why you did that. What compels someone to eat Taco Bell three times a day? What compels somebody to eat Taco Bell one time a day? It's okay. It's okay though. Like there, when I have other options, why would I get Taco Bell? Explain it to me. I can't because I, I don't. I can't because I don't. Hey, man, I think we're dead. It doesn't feel... It was free food? Hmm. <sighs> Missing four land drops is real cool after you lose your first game due to mana issues. I'm having a good time. I'm, I am going to add another red here. Maybe that's a problem. I'm going to take out... Actually, Unicorn seems... Unicorn. Urchin seems good here because they do have a lot of ground guys that I can block pretty well. But, uh... Yeah. Y you okay? Are you, are you doing okay? Good talk. Good talk. Oh, here's a good one. I'm, I'm actually going to keep this because it has all the lands I could ever want. So... Oh, you're keeping this? I shouldn't have to. See, here's my problem with like play the other guild gate. Mana screw is uh, a variance issue. It's not a it's not a deck building issue. So like, I don't want to play the other guild gate to fix my mana when my mana is actually very very good. Like, I just need help drawing lands in general, not like really fixing the lands. And like, this is not a deck that should need a second guild gate. It's just a, a two color deck with pretty average casting costs. All right, well, I mean, whatever, Uncle Fish Dinner. Whatever. 
That's my Uncle Fish. Dinner. Look what I'm going to draw. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, that's actually good. Another jump start. Your mother's another jump start. Jump start will make you jump, jump. Daddy Michael, make you jump, jump. Actually, what Chipotle is maybe more sick than Taco Bell. I've never been sick from Chipotle, and I actually love Chipotle. Just live your life. Why don't you just live your life? I've had two people screaming at each other, just telling each other to live their lives. You're like, why are you even... Take care of Mike, and we'll meet at the... <laughs> wow, that sounded... That, that escalated quickly. I'll see you in heaven. Oh, well, that's nice. That's not a... That's really not a bad wish. We have Tiana Flats here. They have a good Taco Tuesday special. They, yeah, the Flats is good. You live your life, but I'll live mine too. Da -da -da -da. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we got Senior Biscuits over here. Why did you call it that? I don't know, man. Shut up. Think about that. What a conversation. What did you say to me? Said, what a conversation. I had to aim it so that like the the, the chat could actually see it. So they're like, what what is that? I don't understand. Is that a pencil? Is that pencil? If you look up pics from the opening of the first Taco Bell in Japan, I'm in most of them. That's actually hilarious. That's actually hilarious, mate. Well, I have a knife, not really knives. Hey, what do you do when you're so infuriated with coworkers about the job you love? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, you could take their life. They could take yours too. But, you know, it's also possible to fire your mustache and run them through, I think. That's not a real answer. That was just me quoting The Trooper by Iron Maiden. Frank's just casual without a weapon. Like, it's just a normal... It's America. It's totally normal. I guess technically I am your coworker. That's true. So I was just expressing my... So ooh. I'm going to HR about your knife, man. What are you going to do? I'm going to go to HR. What are you going to do? I am the HR, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kerwin is this? A spot Kerwin. I wonder if he's actually. I'm actually looking to see if he's in this picture. I don't know what he looks like. I don't see him in this picture. That could be him, though. He's in a suit. I guess Frank is in Florida, so like every baby is given a switchblade. This is not a switchblade. A switchblade is an automatic knife. This is just a. A switchblade, you like press a button and it comes out. Yeah. They're also illegal in certain states because obvious reasons. Um, you can just put the knife with someone, press the button, and stab them. I'll stab you. In the throat. Wow. Yeah. And then I'll run you. Th I don't want to. Actually, we have a. Oh, sorry. I had an extremely bad time with work just trying to just trying to breathe. Can Mike do the trouble shovel for you? Uh, sorry. No. I'm not doing that. Come on, man. You had a bad day. Shuffle, shuffle, had shuffle. a bad day. It turned into a life. And then another round, cause you had a bad day. You guys like the bad day song? That's not an automatic knife, but it is fully. What, wait, what are you guys talking about? What are you guys, what are you guys talking about? It is fully semi automatic. Yeah, you get a little flickerino. Plus, it makes a really satisfying click noise, so. If I took your knife, would you take mine too? <laughs> I'm just asking to trade knives. Oh boy. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have six, seven here, so we can do this for three. You had a bad day. Turn yourself a mic. Every day, my heck. My back into the camera, but I'm the person in the middle of the front. Are you the guy in the taco suit? Because that's really what you should be. Because I had a bad day. I'm actually tempted to do this guy for three. I wish we didn't have to go all the way to the beach for Taco Bus. I agree with you. I wish I didn't have to go anywhere for anything. <laughs> wow. So, I mean... You just want to be a hermit? Your mother's a hermit. I don't want to take six here. I'm just going to chump block this guy. So, one, two, three, four. We can go one, two, three. We can kill this guy, which is probably pretty good. It's a probably pretty good... I don't really want to wait to kill this guy. X is currently three. Done. 
animated bird. And that dude went to the Garbo. The Garbo Mechanums. Uh, you can stay home. And if you want to trade here, that's fine because this guy's outlived his usefulness. And additionally... If the tacos are located on a bus, why can't they come to you? That's a good question. Well, the bus is parked, unfortunately. There's Postmates? Yeah, but I don't want to pay extra for it either, so you can't win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I'm I don't, Now I'm not going to block because I don't even care about your stupid bird. What do you like on your tacos? Um, not, I mean, like nothing that nothing special. If 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 I'm like, hey, let me get two tacos, two chicken tacos. However, they make them is usually fine. Birdie. Gonna kill all your friends. That sounds real dark when you say it like that. I'm gonna kill your friends. That's straight up murder. It's murder. Cause you had a bad mic. I had a bad mic once. And then I sent it sent him to the store for uh return. For return. Frank missed my new hashtag campaign. What was it? Frank could drink water on stream. Free the water bottles on camera. What? I could do that. I could drink whatever I want on stream. I'm an adult. One bad mic book. <laughs> good times. Good times. Because you had a bad mic. That'll do. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this bad boy. I think they're just dead. I think they're gonna die. <laughs> oh, I see. What are you praying upon? My boar? Okay. Boar, boar. Boar, 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 boar. What's wrong with you? Boar, boar. Yeah, but they're totally dead. So we discard this. Now we can play this next turn on the Fire Urchin after we cast it. Yep. Discard one of the... Oh, that's actually even better. So we can go one, two, three. Cyclops, Fire Urchin. Or, yeah, this is fine. Don't you just attack with everything and give something plus one plus one? Yeah, I do that now. And I make another bird. Birdie. I make another birdie. He's right. a beautiful birdie. Yeah, it's it's funny. Our games go very well when we're actually able to draw a, a, a reasonable combination of lands and spells. Because he had a bad day. Because you had Mike's day. Turn it around. Michael B. Say. Frank, I'm about to get my second tattoo. Does the pain get lesser? Do you get used to it after? Um... I don't know how you reacted to your first one. I think it definitely does. You get used to it. Because I think the, the first one's always the worst because you don't know what to expect. I think the second one, you become more familiar with what to expect. And the third, like everything after the second, you're just like, oh, I'm used to this now. So I think so. I think, yeah, it would probably be better. Mike's going to get his first tattoo as well. It's going to be a picture of my face on his butt. No. It's gonna be good. Not unless you donate a million dollars to me. How much would we have to how much would Chad have to donate to for you to get a tattoo like that? A tattoo on my butt? Yeah. A or, significant amount. You know what? Anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere you want. Well if they're paying, they might as well pick the location too. Right, but if, if uh, no face. If it would make wait, what? No face. With no oh not on your no face, face, right. Tattoos. You're not post Malone. No. Where would be okay, what reasonable tattoo? What place would you get a tattoo? What reasonable place would you get a tattoo? And how much would the chat have to pay for that tattoo? Well, at least the cost of the tattoo plus. Obviously. 
I you think mean, I'm 42? Jesus. Go on. What'd you say? What'd you say? I get it anywhere. Anywhere? Yeah. What about your neck? That's not your face. Okay. No. Okay. <laughs> below the neck. How about that? It has to be below the neck. Okay. How about a forearm tattoo? That's fine. All right. How much are they paying then? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Are you willing to do it? Yeah. For how much? How much do you want out of it? I don't know. What's your baseline? I'm greedy. I don't know. Like a thousand bucks. A thousand dollars. That'll that'll include the cost of the tattoo, though. Wow. So there's a thousand dollars. What would it, what would the tattoo be? Whatever they want. What if we get you like an eight hundred dollar tattoo though? And then you only profit two hundred bucks. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Well, eight hundred dollar tattoo. That has to be a really large tattoo. Yeah, you're just getting a sleeve. Wow. I thought sleep for eight hundred dollars is actually probably a pretty good deal. Can we get Mike B to tattoo a pic of his face on his back? <laughs> what if we shave your head and we get a tattoo of your face on the back of your head? I said below the neck, Frank. Oh, We're, that's true. The rules are rules. That's a good point. I don't want you to do this. I really don't. I'm not a fan. For a million dollars, I would get an expertly rendered tattoo of the human male genitalia on my face. Wow. I don't even think that's worth it, to be honest. A million dollars to have your face ruined for the rest of your life? Not so sure. Is this game three? Did we lose game one again? If you hold him upside down, his head is below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I guess that's a good point. I wish I could argue with that. Okay, how about it would be the cost of the tattoo plus I profit $500? Okay, that's actually pretty good. So, chat, what are we doing? What are we getting? What what tattoo are we getting, Mike? I can't tell if you're an old guy that looks young or a young guy that looks old. My God. If I If I got a tattoo, it would be this. As a giant black tattoo. Let's check that out. Back tattoo, not black tattoo. I have no idea what this even is. Looks neat, though. A tramp stamp that says, "All oh, I, I want to... I went on Frank Lepore's stream and all I got was this lousy tattoo. Wow. Fractals that expand from the nipples. <laughs> a baked potato tattoo. Actually, I think we're doing significant. Goat see, wow. <laughs> wow! A portrait of Frank Mike on the shoulder and Soul Mike on the other shoulder. Play another one. No, oh, dang it. It has to be a Chicken Sunday cheer, cheer. A Care Bear riding a My Little Pony. Wow. A tattoo of a coffee cup with a banana. <whistles> Soul ring around the belly button. Hmm. That'd be Soul good. ring? Yeah. That's actually pretty good. That's real. That's good. That's good for your commanderness, and uh, it also lets you look like. I'll, a, I just go like this. I'll play a soul ring. Yeah, it looks like you makes, makes you look like a tween. Did I just trade here. The words Frank and Mike and Rob and Hunter like Game of Thrones. Yeah, sure. Will the guy in the background repeat anything Chat says? I love when people say it's the guy called, in the it's background. It's called reading the chat. And you can kindly get out of it. <laughs> Jesus. The guy in the background. It's got to be really weird to be that, like, socially awkward, right? Like, he, they're also literally... Everyone in the chat is literally saying your name. Like, so, like, to just call someone the guy in the background when you have that easily access... It, when their name is that easily accessible is really comical. He's probably also a member of the incels. <laughs> Like you do. Get rid of this guy. How about the hashtag Mike B or right? I have the money ready. I'm down. Wow. That's actually not bad. That's pretty easy. We're coming we're coming back. We're doing it. Hashtag the guy in the background. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a good dude. We just used our direct current as well. 
Cause you had a bad day. Commander stable in old English on the stomach. That's pretty good. Will the guy in the front ground, the guy in the foreground, just read all the messages? I'm trying to make the debate between Mana Trader subscription to borrow cards for standard each month and just investing a couple hundred dollars in MTG and just not. Uh, I don't think if you invest in MTG, like you're not gonna have to worry about it. Is the problem? Cause you had a Mac day. I don't like that they can just make guys from here on out. I was going to suggest it's a tattoo of Mike B's dad, but no one knows what he looks like. Wow. That's true. I actually do know what my dad looks like. Looks like a miserable pile. Wow. I don't... Yeah, that'd be... I'd like to see what your dad looks like. Imagine me, but fatter. <laughs> and shorter. Oh, God. I guess... We're, wait, where'd you get your height from, then? My mom's side, actually. My great-grandpa was like 7'2". Really? Yeah. That's fascinating. To be fair, I haven't seen a, seen my dad in a long time, so he might not Sigh. be as fat anymore. If I can top take a command the storm, I'll feel okay about this, but otherwise... No, sir, I don't like it. Just a pack of cigarettes? Wow. This is actually great for us, because this lets us sure strike and kill this guy. This is actually pretty gas. How tall is I? I'm like six, six and a half or something like that. He's 1,900 feet tall. Might as well be. Bill Baraski. He was 900 feet tall. What's happening right now? Just attack. Oh, you want to leave one of those little, little nurdles back? Little nurdles McNurdles? Hashtag no dads. All right, so we can actually play the thing for for three again here, which doesn't kill a Tristani. Hey, man. Yeah, man. How long is that bear astronaut going to ride that goat? Forever. Forever? What if the goat's tired? What if you're tired? Got him. That's em. always. Wow, that is always, actually. Sad day. There it is. That's what we're hoping for. All right, we're going to play this, and next turn we're going to do it for... We can do it for th four next turn, I believe? One, two, three, four. Yeah, that kills Tristani, which is pretty insane. All right. They have one card in hand. Mike is built like a football player. Is it too late to go pro? Yeah, I think it might be a little too late. They can't attack with this, so if they attack with everything, we'll block here. We're not dead. We could Sonic Assault and discard this. Get a fiddle bit tattoo on your hips so the head says eye just sticks out of your pants. Wow. Cosme, have you considered not having that in your living room? Wow, this is aggressive. Cause you had a bad mic. Turn it around. Yeah, we actually can't block with this guy because we want to make sure we are able to kill the Trostani. Oh, good. Oh, fantastic. Wow, well, see, this is this is what I love about Magic. Like, you just feel like you're getting into it, and then, like, they just play a creature because they top deck the 7-5 the five, five that you literally can't do anything about. That's pretty That's pretty good. Wonderful. I guess I can double block and take three. <laughs> no land. All right, well... <sighs> play this, play this, and then we're still dead because we don't have enough of a discount. And we have to block this guy. We could block here and here, and we take three, one, two, three, four, and then we're dead. Yep, we actually have to double block here, and they get to kill both. Fantastic. Any plans last night after the stream? I never got an email unless. Oh, I actually didn't. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I forgot. I just got a little busy. Yep, go into one and play your last card. Didn't do it. All right. One, two, three, four. Oh, actually, we are still alive. Mystic. We can also maximize velocity and keep up Sonic Assault. No, I don't like that. 
All right. Well, we're not dead. So here we go. Let's try not to die. This targets this hits literally one creature in our deck. It the only this is the only creature it actually hits in our deck. That's actually hilarious. <laughs> wow, absolutely terrible card. And uh, all right, let's let's look. Let's edit our deck. Nope. Oh, I guess it hits this, but we never drew this in any games. Uh, so it hits these two creatures, one of which you never saw. Doesn't hit these. Doesn't hit this. Doesn't hit any of these. Okay, so it hits this one creature and uh, that you maybe saw in game two. Yeah, you saw that in game two. And uh, you never saw this. All right, so it hits one creature. Sounds good. Solid, solid choice. Anyway, on that note, uh, I'm going to end this video. Not ending the stream, as usual. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Send those like and subscribe buttons. Unfortunately, uh, sometimes you just uh, don't get there. And you get to drop from the league because your opponent top decks Tristani into Siege Worm into Collar the Culprit, which actually doesn't do anything 99% of the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sign those like and subscribe and check me out on Twitch and Patreon and meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You get 15% discount, free shipping for returns. Super soft micromodal. Great value. I'll see you guys next time.